Hi Beeros, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. I'm down at my local haunt, the Stag. Uh, as you may have guessed from my show is your local video, I'm a real fan of their Jacob's Ladder, uh, which is a short rib and a barbecue glaze. Uh, it's just about the tastiest thing you can put in your mouth. Uh, so I've come down here, finally they've invited me and they're willing to show me how they made it. So I'm gonna join a chap called Thomas in the kitchen and we're gonna make you and show you how to make the best short rib I've ever tasted. So I'm here with Thomas, one of the chefs at the Stag, uh, and he's going to show us how to cook this incredible, incredible short rib, starting with some beautiful beef, right? Yes, sure. This is a Jacob's Ladder uh, beef rib. What you have to do is portion it in individual ribs. Yeah, that's a bit much for one person, yeah. isn't it? And you need to cure them. Right. Uh, you prepare the cure by uh, mixing all kinds of spices. You've got uh, grilled rosemary, mustard seeds, a uh, whole lot of salt, brown sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, and yeah, that's about it. So what you do, right. you're curing it with the salt and then trying to get some flavors into the fibers. Yeah, and be really generous with the cure. And try to kind of rub it in. And that's ready to get cured mm -hmm. for at least three and a half hours. Right, you make this cure in the fridge. Yep. You can get ready to veg. As you would make a stock, a vegetable stock. So you just use carrots, celery, onion, fresh thyme. Yep. Uh, you're gonna need uh, Pepper, pepper coins, yeah. black pepper coins, soya sauce, and uh, Tabasco. Sauce, awesome. Okay, so this is my so time to shine. This is your time to shine, yeah. So we're just we're cut, uh, cutting it to yes. big. You don't need small pieces, just roughly. Get a fresh time. So that's about, that's about a handful, handful yeah, of time. Yeah, a handful, yeah, handful cool, of cool. time. Pepper coins, yep. again, maybe 10. 10? Yeah. You don't need to cook too much. We'll, <laughs> it'll happen. Yeah, it'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to be precise uh, with that too much. Yeah. How much of this beauty? Tabasco. Well, if you like it, more spicy, less spicy. It's really up to you. You're making it at home. Um, you just want it, you want it to. You, you don't want the, the final Jacob to be too spicy. It's not about that. So yeah. just, just a little bit. Yeah, maybe a tablespoon. A tablespoon. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Probably. Okay, three and a half hours has passed. So it's been it's been cu been cured for three and a half hours in the fridge. It's been washed under cold water. You need to wash the cure completely. Yep. You end up with this nice and clean washed ribs, and they're ready to be sealed. So I need to take them, put them on a the grill. Get these nice marks. Yeah, sealing on sealing on the all sides on the grill, high heat. This way, this way you keep all the flavor, all the juices in the meat. Going in here? Yeah, take the tray ready from before. Okay. So you see, that's it. Now we're ready to cover it with water. And that's ready to go to the oven. Okay. As I said, best to do it overnight. 12 hours at least. Shorted out of the oven, and what we're left with is that gorgeous veggie stock, yeah, with the soy, and the hot sauce. That's uh, so what good. happens now. Yeah, now we need to train it before we reduce it. You got, you got all the veg. You want to get rid of. Yep. Start reducing. So. Okay, so you're sieving out all the all yeah. the veg, and then reducing down the liquid that's left. Yeah, that's right. We need to reduce it. You're looking at about our least. So as you can see, if you reduce the sauce, yeah. just like a traditional barbecue sauce. Yeah. So the next step is we're going to take that and we're going to brush the meat with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we reheat yeah, it. Yeah, you can just spoon it over the meat, the rib, and put it in the oven for at least 20 minutes so it really heats up from yeah. inside, from inside next to the bone. Cool. Yeah. We can, let's make some food porn. Yeah. So I'm settling down for a lonely meal for one, but I do have company. I have a glorious, glorious Jacob's Ladder. Um, I cannot wait to suck into this, so I'm not gonna talk for too long, but we need to talk about a beer match first. 
Um, so what you really want with this kind of meal um, is something with a bit of sweetness. It doesn't matter where that sweetness comes from. It could be a sort of licoriceness from a, a roasted malt, or it could be a kind of biscuity sweetness like you get in a red ale. So I've got two beers here. I'll probably start with the red ale. Uh, it's got it's got that biscuity kind of raisin crackery kind of thing going on, uh, and then it's got hops, uh, which, as I always say, cut right through anything that's remotely fatty. And there's a nice sort of ridge of fat on top of the meat here. Um, I've also got Black Betty uh, by uh, Beaver Town, which is another beautiful beer with roasted meat. It's got a kind of licorice, uh, burnt toast kind of thing going on, but being an IPA, again, it's got that hot profile to cut through it. Um, they're both pretty complicated beers um, with a sort of assault of, of sweet and spice and meat. Uh, you need something that's going to be big. If I could eat one meal for the rest of my life, it might be a short route. And that's perfect, it's got just enough earthiness to go with the meat, just enough hop to cut through it, and just enough sweetness to go with the glaze. This is the reason I started the Craft Beer Channel, this kind of food, this kind of beer, this kind of place. So less talking for me, more eating, and for you, more cooking. Get on this, cheers.